मुस्कुराइए आप लखनऊ में हैं दैट सीम्स टू बी द फीलिंग विद इन द एंटी मोदी अलायंस सम से इन इंडियन पॉलिटिक्स द रोड टू न्यू डेली पास इज थ्रू अवध एंड सो द डेवलपमेंट इन उत्तर प्रदेश प्ले अ पिविटल रोल इन स्वेइंग द नेशनल नेरेटिव द समाजवादी पार्टी एंड कांग्रेस हैव फाइनली डिसाइडेड टू कीप दियर डिफरेंसेज अ साइड एंड कंटेस्ट द लोकसभा पोल ज्वाइंटली इन उत्तर प्रदेश वॉट वैल्यू डज दिस की स्टेप एड टू द ग्रैंड इंडिया ब्लॉक How much will this renewed friendship hurt the BJP? And more importantly, will Samajwadi Party chief Akhilesh Yadav survive the saffron wave despite his 4 not record? We decode the data for you and bring out what the grand battle in the north holds. It could be the fact that UP sends the most MPs to the Lok Sabha among all states. or it could be the fact that the state has the highest population dwarfing even some nations and its populace is spread across bharat diligently working in fields and top offices alike one thing is certain uttar pradesh's importance in national politics can never be dismissed as up ke ladke reunite after seven long years it's equally important to understand the agreement the two parties have reached while the samajwadi party has conceded 17 seats to the congress it has kept 63 for itself and its other alliance partners interestingly apart from its ancestral bastion of prayagraj amethi and raibareli the congress has also backed the seat of varanasi pm modi's home turf now coming to the impact of the newly formed alliance ever since he stormed to power in 2012 akhilesh yadav has faced bjp four times twice in lok sabha and twice in assembly polls out of the four contests the bjp has a massive 40 lead against the samajwadi party a quick look at this data explains bjp's rise in up the saffron party was nowhere near the big players in the state until 2014 and then came the modi wave the bjp dealt a huge blow to the incumbent and powerful samajwadi party by winning 71 of the 80 lok sabha seats the saffron party continued its dominance in 2019 and managed to win 62 seats despite the formidable sp bsp alliance surprisingly even mayawati's cooperation could not help akhilesh reclaim his hold in 2019 while samajwadi party improved its tally in assembly polls from 47 in 2017 to triple one in 2022 it was just not enough to defeat the mighty bjp in all these number games it is also critical to understand what congress brings to the table once a dominant force the grand old party has witnessed a perpetual decline in up case in point the congress managed to win just one out of 80 lok sabha seats in 2019 and two out of 403 assembly seats in 2022 with sonia gandhi taking the rajya sabha route and the gandhi siblings yet to take a call on contesting from up what impact will this delay have on the morale of party cadre remains to be seen moreover the congress samajwadi party alliance is not new it is a tried tested and failed method up ke ladke came together for 2017 assembly polls in up but couldn't stop bjp's winning streak and so we leave you with the big question can rahul gandhi help akhilesh survive the saffron wave in 2024 or will history repeat itself